5. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Sullivan. I'm Rob Johnson with new marching orders from the mayor to Chicago police officers. Stay out of immigration matters. CBS 2 chief correspondent Jay Levine is here with something the mayor says will help make Chicago the most immigrant friendly city in America. How so, Jay? By refusing to enforce Kate and Rob what he called a failed immigration policy. Unless they're dealing with violent criminals or other threats to public safety, Robin. Big deal parting of the ways in terms of philosophy with his former boss, as you just mentioned. For them help, their help in finding and catching violent criminals. Fair enough. Thank you, Jay. Police in the western suburbs remain on the hunt tonight for a burglar who barely escaped their grasp, and they know who they're looking for. And many of those drownings happen in the lake, and the rip currents, as we just mentioned, are to blame. Steve's here to explain what that means. All right, thanks so much, Steve. The rescues continue tonight at a home in west suburban Berwyn, where dozens of cats and dogs have already been taken away. Those who serve in the military make sacrifices every day, and that often includes leaving loved ones behind during tough times like pregnancy. As CBS 2's My Martinez reports, one organization is making sure those moms to be know they're not alone. Meanwhile, it is not your average shoplifting caught on camera. A Florida priest is apologizing to his parishioners, but what he's saying sorry for is, well, a bit cloudy. He's now taking time off to tend to personal duress and, quote, establish his innocence. For many couples, surviving this economy means no more stay-at-home mom. The biggest hurdle? Transferring mommy skills to the corporate world. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker follows the matriarch of one suburban family as she takes that first step. There are so many women in the exact same boat that have all these skills that they don't realize they have. So this is very valuable. You know, and the best thing about it is that there are groups like Manpower. There are others out there where you can get free consultation. They can tell you if you volunteer. Stay at home, mom, I know, works so much harder than the people <laughs> oh, that don't stay at home. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. All right, Good guys. advice. Thanks so much. Well, nowhere to go but down. A teenager's scary choice on a boardwalk. Walk sky ride. Our good friend Scott Pelly is back in New York tonight, a day after bringing the broadcast right here to Chicago. And Scott, you'll have more of your interview with Mayor Rahm Emanuel on the evening news tonight. The CBS Evening News. We will be all ears here yes, in sir. Chicago. Thanks. Thanks. Changing gears now, don't worry, the video you're about to see has a happy ending, but what would you do? You're on a ride, 35 feet above ground. The ride stops and a nasty storm is moving in. Watch what one little girl, teenage girl, did. She jumped. At Thank goodness, <laughs> a happy ending, right? Right. A new exhibit at the Adler Planetarium takes you on a journey through space. Oh, Thank you very okay. much, Steve. Why Kansas City's a royal pain for White Sox all-star Adam Dunn. Okay, Ryan's here with sports. Baseball's biggest stars will be shining brightly tonight at Kansas City, in Kansas City, at the Midsummer Classic. Who do you think coaches him harder? The Blackhawks coaches him when he gets the call from dear old dad yeah. when he comes and checks on him because he's up with the Red Wings right now. I think now. we know the answer to that yeah. one. Yeah, but you, you close your no, no Exactly. All right, thanks. thanks, Ryan. That is the news at 5. Thank you for joining us. CBS Evening News is coming up next. Be sure to join Bill and Walter at 6, and we will see you back here at 10 o'clock.